Okay, in our second video, now we're gonna start opening the file and reading the file. So for this, I have created this file here, test, and I have written something in the first column, right? So now we have this path to reach the file. Now we need to create the application. So we create var, and let's say Excel file. For example, equal a new application and this will create our application. Then we need to create a workbook, right? MATLAB to, to work with MATLAB. And this one we can call it the same way workbook. And then we create here with our application that we have. So we have our application. Why it doesn't open? It should open the application. Okay, let's try one more time. then we can create the same name just for now then we want our work book okay, here let's change this one to book and this one capital S then we have worksheet and then which one we want to open right so here we can put numbers in here and this is like a uh, array so remember how to manipulate or read you will need the array and now let's try to read maybe the first file lines or the first rows the first row or the excel file first and let's put row equal to one we start from one always remember and then row less than five equal to five and then let's increase this and now let's write console write line and write what is inside this so now we're gonna work with worksheet the worksheet and then we need the cells and the cells we're gonna read it as a array right as a matrix then we have the row and we have the column so let's write down here column equal to one and then here close like this here is happening okay, this is not needed here then console read key and let's see what is the error here okay this is no i this is row perfect now let's run the program So here you can see we are accessing the five rows but the problem is we are not printing the value so here we type that value and now 
we just you should be able to read the value inside the cell so here we see hello this is read check here there is an error because property console object a stream so maybe something went wrong let's see if we can do this maybe we can do this not sure not sure if this is possible but let's try Okay, you cannot use the definition for this one. So let's reduce this to three. We call okay stop. So yeah here it looks like if the cell is empty. Uh, we get some error so we will need to use uh, if to validate that is not empty so if we go here and we open the test excel file read only we can see that these four rows that we have is the same we are reading here so this is how you open and create and read the file so let's continue with more videos Please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.